this. A mixed martial arts contest over three three minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, would you welcome Ben Davis. Co-main event time tonight in the Uprising. It is great to be with you here, coming to you live from Hastings East Sussex. And they have all come out tonight to see those two men. Ben Davis, Matt Painter. Davis, out of the red corner, Painter out of the blue. Blue tape and yellow gloves for Painter. Front leg side kick from Davis. Painter plodding onwards, leading with the jab, finishes with the low kick. Painter utilizing that footwork that he's known for. He's got eight great in and out footwork, Chris, and that enables him to fire off and get out of range. Oh, he ate a shot there coming in. Great connections here from both men. Body work in return from Davies. Davies now sinking his hips nice and low, trying to stop that takedown, but he needs to funnel his right arm in for that underhook, Chris. Painter working to get low. And there's the key in this position, the underhooks. Ben Davis is lifting Painter up with that left underhook. Painter trying to pummel in there with the right hand, can't quite get it. Back to the kickboxing. Open stance matchup. Excuse me, closed stance, left foot forward for both men. Big connection there for Davis. Painter though, working the kicks. Painter looking to land those kicks, Chris, he's got to make sure his head's covered when he does that. Nice connection there from Painter. Surging is Painter, looking for the plum. Davis says no. Kick catch from Davis, looking to try to convert to the takedown. Can he get it? There we go, that's beautiful work there from Davis. He sensed the guillotine was gonna be put on by Painter, and he went round to the correct side, the opposite of the choking arm, Chris. Both men had been very vocal, Dean, in the run-up to this contest, that there would really be no pushover for either of them. They're loving the support, the sponsors, the fans. You really couldn't have had a, a more perfect co-main event as far as matchmaking. Davis now inside control, doing a great job of keeping heavy, switching the hips. But we see now Painter looking for the half guard, Chris, on the bottom. 
So it's the debut fight for Davis. Painter, though, a veteran. He's been here before. But he's off his back, Dean. Davis on top, doing a great job of being very heavy. What he's going to try and do is use the cage to pin Painter's head up against it and fire off shots while keeping heavy with his hips. Excellent posture here from Davis. Painter, though, thinking about that leg lock. Can't quite get it. Goes for the lumberjack sweep. Now on top. Half guard here for Painter. Listen to the crowd. Painter now on top looking to do some damage, but he's got to get that right leg out of the half guard from Davis. Well, it's been a rivalry that has certainly lived up to the hype. As both men continue to engage, the pace slowing a little bit, Dean, but good grips here in control for Painter. Davis utilizing the meat hooks. He's trying to, what he's trying to do, Chris, is break the posture and defend the punches coming down from Painter. But Painter now tearing off. And the crowd cheering Davis on as he escapes and gets on top. That is the end of a breathtaking round one. Excellent back and forth action there. Very interesting to see both men on top. And noticeably, Painter was very active with the ground and pound. So round two here underway. And it's been a spirited performance from both Painter and his opponent, Davis. Painter looking to try to get inside again, and I think put Davis on his back. But Davis commanding that reach, using those physical advantages. It could come down to who can stay off their back, Dean. It's a very urgent fight. There's a lot riding on it. You can just see that from the, the way the crowd is. And both of these fighters want to implement their own game plan quicker. If it goes to the ground, it's going to do well for the person to stay on top. The person with the takedown stay on top. Whoever's on the bottom in this fight is going to be at a disadvantage. Davis dips down, tries to get that double leg. Actually doesn't need to commit to it. Painter actually thought about trying to catch a guillotine choke. Painter now trying to circle the head to his right side. We could be setting up a guillotine here, Chris. Or just to alleviate the strikes from coming down, he's doing a great job of overhooking the right arm of Davis to stop those shots coming down. And of course, that head position, Dean, will protect him from the inevitable punches coming in. Yeah, Davis has got to get up nice and high posture up to, to deliver that power. And he's rocking that Williams guard there. He's got some openings if he wants to try to get into that 10th planet position, the mission control. Gonna be tough though with that forward pressure of Davis right now. This has got to be a tactic here from, from him listening to the corner. It looks like he's working a triangle now, but the tactic would be to control the posture of Davis if he gets on top of you. Nail biting moments here in Hastings. It's the uprising showcasing you the very best of up and coming talent and what an atmosphere to do it, Dean. Painter did a good job of posturing up there, but he could be caught in a head and arm triangle, Chris. Painter trying to catch the squeeze, locks up that figure four. Davis shakes his head. Painter can't get it. Up go the legs. Looking again to stay active as Painter off his back. Yeah, Painter's throwing up these legs for the arm bars. He's working the transition to the triangle. He's got to be careful about opening his guard because Davis could opt to pass here. Davis doing very well to continue to shuffle forward and control. Close down the movements of Painter. Not enough activity, says Daniel Mobahidi. We're going back to the stand-up. And that was evident of Painter's ability to stop the damage coming from Davis. Excellent control and excellent defense from Painter. Or the advancing of position, Dean, so it's a smart tactic. So we're back to the upright here. Painter looking for that clinch. Painter reaching down for the ankle pick there. What he'll do is pull the ankle towards him and fire his right arm up to the sky to initiate the takedown. So an underhook of opportunity there on the right side for Painter. Is his head position going to be okay at this point though, Dean? At this point in time, Painter's head is down. He wants to get his head underneath the chin of Davis for more control. That is two in the books, folks. We've got a fight in Hastings. Third and final round here. Three minutes will go on the clock, and that will be the last opportunity if we go the distance for either man to assert their dominance in what has been a back and forth competitive fight, Dean. Huge leg kick from Davis, but Payton's doing a great job of making him pay for it. Every time he receives that kick, he's throwing his hands, but he needs to think about lifting his leg up and checking those kicks. Davis, mouth wide open, breathing hard, catches Painter flush. Beautiful short right hand there from Davis. 
Pedro was noticeably wobbled there, and he's doing the correct thing of initiating the clinch. And now he's using his head, Chris. You see the way he's forcing his top of his head underneath the chin of Davis. This serves more control in this position. What a beautiful, gutsy performance from both guys. Young, hungry, early in their career. And the education of the debutant Davis has actually been fairly solid, and he's made some good adjustments on the fly throughout these two rounds, now three. It's been a hard-fought fight here, and we see Painter now advancing with his hands, got his hands low. If Davis can time these strikes, fake the low leg kick, and go upstairs with the hands, he could have some success. Nice lead hand there from Davis, framing up, keeping Painter away, pushes on Painter, Painter breathing hard. But Davis Day is doing a better job, Chris, here, being evasive. And that was exactly what he thought his key to victory was. He said, I'm gonna learn in this fight. I'm gonna go in here and figure out what Painter has, what he shows me, and I will solve the problems at a faster rate. Davis is looking for the heavy shots there, but gives up the takedown, the level change here from Painter. Huge takedown here for Painter, that was key. And it could be on a knife edge here tonight in Hastings. Davis holding onto the head here. Might be looking for a stand-up, Chris. His evasive movements and his striking was doing well. At this point in time, though, he has to think about moving his hips, trying to regain the full guard position or indeed initiate a sweep. He can't be underneath Painter in this position. And Painter really feeding off the crowd here as they shout his name. But he's slowing this fight down. I think that's smart, Dean. He's going to work carefully to mount, not give up positions. Did a great job of position before submission, Chris. Excellent jiu-jitsu for MMA here from Matt Painter on the top position. He's going to look to pry away the head, Chris. Pin it down to the mat. Davis inevitably holding onto the body like that. He's still going to eat shots here, Chris, but nothing too damaging. So a good slow pace of sliding his weight into full mount here for Painter, but he's got to stay active. Mobahidi wants action. He wants Painter to keep working here, and he does so successfully. Painter now distracting with the head control. The arm bar's there if he needs it, but let's we'll see if he gives up the top position. He's opting to stay there and look for the mount and throw down Hammer Fist, Chris. Big shots coming down from Painter. Davis trying to defend, looking to try and get out that back door, but on Painter goes. Painter in the full mount of position now, Chris. Very dangerous in MMA, and he's able just to fire off shots here. Davis needs to buck, he needs to set up sweeps. He can't be placid and flat backed in this position. What a fight. We knew, Dean, that this was going to be matchmaking that would bring out the very best of both men, and that was without a doubt a performance from both individuals. So one more time, would you please make some noise for Ben Davis and Matt Painter. We go the distance here in Uprising. So the judges are just bringing their scorecards in. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right there with the announcements momentarily. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a majority decision. Judge number one here at ringside scores the bout in favor of the red corner, Ben Davis. And judge number two at ringside scores the contest for Matt Painter. And owing to a 10-8 round, judge number three has actually scored this contest a draw. It's a majority draw. So one more time, Ben Davis and Matt Painter. All right. So I'm going to talk to both men. I'm going to first talk to Matt Painter. Matt, you came into this fight with the edge and experience. You went out there, stayed on top early. Was that the game plan? Yes, very much. I say thanks to George. Thank you to Michael. Thank you to everyone coming to watch me. Sorry, I couldn't get a win. Thank you, guys. So, Matt, 
Were you surprised at the fact that it was tied up after three? Yes. Yeah, he fought very hard, though. And I couldn't tell. I couldn't have judged it. It's a stand-up. Yeah, he's done well. Very tough kid. Matt, it was an honor and a pleasure to have you here in Uprising. You up for it again? Of course. Always. All right, I'm going to call in Ben. If you come on over here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with also your second fighter, Ben Davis. And you came in there and, in our opinion, showed a lot of great decision making. This was your first fight, but you made a lot of good adjustments throughout the fight. You landed good strikes. Were you surprised how tough he was because you gave him some seriously hard punches and kicks? No, I know too. Uh, I knew the guy wasn't no pushover. I was training as if he weren't no pushover, and he showed to be no pushover. Came out, we gave him a good fucking fight. That's all I can say. Yeah. Anytime this guy wants a rematch, we'll do it. Maybe next time I'll be fitter. I think I just, I just gassed out a little too early. Fitness is key, and I need to improve that. But it's a great fight, and I'm happy that it's a great fight. Ben, you showed a lot of great skills. You showed heart, grit, and determination one more time. Ben Davis and Matt Painter!